Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to draw the Lewis dot structure for uh, phosphorus pentachloride. So here we go. Uh, phosphorus pentachloride is going to be PCl5, which gives us 5 valence from the phosphorus plus 5 chlorine, each with 7 valence electrons, for a total of 40 valence electrons. All right. So we can subtract out of the largest multiple of 8 out of the 40, which is also 40, gives us a remainder of 0, which is 8 times 5, meaning that this is an AX5 structure with a central atom and 5 peripheral atoms and no non-bonding pairs, okay? So let's go ahead and draw this structure. Um, you got phosphorus in the center, surrounded by the 5 chlorines. And let's go ahead and single bond all of them together, like so. And now we can also fill in the octets for the peripheral chlorines. Okay, so let's go ahead and count up our electrons. There's 8, 16, 24, 32, and 40. So that looks like that should be it. And notice that phosphorus can have more than 8 electrons because it's in the third period, meaning it has access to the D um, the, the D shell, so it can hold more than eight, so the octet rule is not the only rule that applies here, okay? So let's check the formal charges on these atoms to make sure that the, this is the uh, correct structure. So for phosphorus, it's going to be five valence electrons brought in, minus one, two, three, four, five bonds, minus zero non-bonding electrons for a formal charge of zero, all right? Now let's check the formal charges on the chlorines. And notice that every chlorine has the same setup in this structure, so the uh, formal charges should all be equal. So there's seven valence brought in for each chlorine, minus one bond for each one, minus two, four, six non-bonding electrons for each chlorine for a formal charge of zero on each one. Multiply that times five, which is still zero. So you sum all that up overall formal charge of zero, which is what, is what we're expecting because this is a non-charged particle, so that's good. Okay, now we can talk about the shape uh, real quick. Um, AX5, there's five surrounding atoms around the central atom, which means that this is going to be a trigonal pyramidal shape, okay? Mean that you have a flat triangle shape with one one atom ab above it and one atom below it, okay? And in this uh, shape, um, the, the bond angles are equal to, there's actually a couple of angles here, there's a 90 degree angle between the top and the flat plane, there's a 120 degree angle between each of the three corners of the triangle, and then there's a 180 degree angle in between the top and the bottom above and, and below the plane. Okay. Um, in terms of hybridization, you have one, two, three, four, five bonding sites. So you have S, P, three, D, one S, three P's, one D orbitals. So that's S, P, three, D hybrid. And in this case, because they're all, all the surrounding atoms are all chlorines, they're all going to can cancel each other out for in terms of uh, dipole moments, meaning that this PCl5 phosphorus pentachloride is going to be non-polar. Alright, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, let me know. And thanks for watching.